So a lot of people say, what's the point of having a website? Uh, back in the day, people used to go word of mouth is how people used to get information. You'd go talk to somebody, like, oh, check out this place or check out that place. But in the study that was done in 2010, it says 85% of all people do an internet search for a website or a, a, a place to go and actually visit. And that might not seem like um, it's something relevant, but well, this right, uh, yeah, well, this right here is our uh, first. Is I want to show you that we're right now we're on the second page of Google. We've only been a month something up, but we're already on Google. Which means that with time, as we start linking more and more pages, as we start incorporating more and more information into our website, we're going to be higher and higher in the ratings. Could you just pay? Um, if you paid, if you pay money, you get put to the side. Google so works. You you, you pay, you go to the side of this. So Google, how Google works is uh, relevance of... No, no, no. Go, go, back. Go, go back. Go back to Google. Okay. So I guess he wants to go to the first page. So go to the first page. Yeah. So all, all the way up is you have, you know, you have your Facebook pages. But a lot of times, like you say, I want to buy plumbers. I want to go for plumbers. People, the plumbers pay to be It'll well, recommended sites. Uh, recommended sites. They pay. They pay for that. Trust me. They pay for that. Well, if you say so. But if I say <laughs> because because um, the biggest difference is, is while I was doing research, um, I saw that Google has also been changing the way that they do business. Sometimes, if you look for a plumber, you have your actual top searchable, and then you have a recommended off to the side, and the recommended ones are the ones who pay, while the ones that are higher up in ratings are the ones that have better links. But then again, I don't know. It's, it's you, pay, you pay to be Okay, but we're saying we're still we're already on the second page of Google, and so that many Charlie's places. Okay. Well, there but it might not be many, but it's still kind of a it's a presence, you know. That's okay. built it. On top of that, um, a study once again done in 2010 shows that in the state of Washington, there's 6.7 million people. Out of those 6.7 million people, 5.7 million people use internet on a daily basis. Out of those, now if we say out of those um, 5 million people, 85% actually use internet searching to find a company, that will bring us to about 73% of people would actually find you know, someplace locally to go to, to visit or whatnot. Now people say, okay, what's the, what's the, what's the good you know, purpose of having your own website? 
I post to Yelp, posting it on, on Craigslist, posting it on Facebook, posting it on Twitter. The two biggest differences are this. One, when you own something that's privately your own, it's more of a name brand recognition. When somebody wants to find somebody, they don't usually go search on Facebook. They search on the internet and see what pops up. If you have a reputable company, they have an actual web page. You know that they're stable enough to support a web page. They have a decent enough web page that's not only attractive, interactive, it's also something that they can be like, okay, I look here, I'm like, okay, this is what I kind of see at first glance. I see what's happened, I see what has, what's, what's going to happen in a slight kind of fashion. Now, this is one of the biggest marketing things that people don't understand. That the problem before with Charlie's was it didn't have a web presence, other than Facebook, Twitter, and small things like that. But once again, those same things with those, if you have a Facebook, why it's not as reputable, anybody can go and make a Facebook. And they can make this Facebook and they can put whatever they want on it. Pretty much except for you know explicit items. Whereas having your own web page, it creates something that you can change and the whole design layout can change. Whereas Facebook is you have your strict Facebook design that they have implemented in, and you can add or remove content. This one is managed and everything can be changed up to your liking, no matter how you want it or where you want it placed. Now, Building on top of that, our solution was this. Um, since we are inexperienced in web design, we want to build something that would be um, kind of a good, uh, for good fundamentals or something foundation for the website. Because as of right now, we still have lots of work in progress. Because a lot of links are still kind of, uh, you know, jump around sometimes. But we're working around on that and, you know, to try to get it improved. Like our foods is we have, you know, a fairly simple, you know, click down to see what we have for appetizers. So say, for example, you're hungry, you click on appetizers or beverages, it shows you what it is. I assume you're gonna incorporate pictures. And that yes, that's what I'm saying. Right now, we are young developers, and being young developers, we slowly progress, and as we progress, we kind of try to, you know, uh, add stuff. You know, so. I would say your red is too small. Well, our red is a sub, it's a sub description. It no, 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 it's a little. Yeah, the, the little red is a sub. If you look on it on the screen, it's why is it so small? Because it's a sub description. So, uh, no, 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 no. If you can't read it, what good is it? Especially old guys like me, my eyes aren't that good. Uh, it's, it's there for kind of aesthetics, to kind of give uh, yeah, uh, right. But okay. What I'm trying to say is it's too small. So make it bigger. We can change There's no it. reason to make it that small. The, there again is another point why having your own website is better. We can go ahead and go into you know, CSS and with a simple change of code, we can make that from a smaller font. I know, it takes like five seconds. <laughs> yes, I, it does, but it's one of those things where well, we try to, we try to, we try I'm to, to make your site better, okay? I, well, I I'm not on your side. Okay. 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 Um, so um, well, uh, because it, it is, it's kind of, it's been our baby for the last two months and we've been working on it. And so yes, we, 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 we welcome all suggestions due to the fact that, you know, the more opinions we get, the better it will become. So I, I think for all your other pages, you need good photos. Because this is a good opening page, but all the sub pages need photos and that type of thing. So you're working on Yeah, it's, it's, it's a work in progress with, with time. We will try to add and incorporate more and more multimedia where people can be more interactive with it. Yeah, now normally, normally something like this, there's some kind of, so you come to the home page, there should be a special event it should be up there. Or maybe it's Tuesday, a Tuesday drink special. Wednesday, chicken wing, I don't know what it is. But, no, 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 that's what you should see at the title page. Uh, well, because that draws me to why I should go there. Well, our, our, our actual things, our images are actually linkable. So right now, even though the links aren't working, let me just let me Even right now, a lot of our links are still not working, it's going to throw it to here. So it throws us to a whole different page. So literally, as soon as you come here, you see a picture of something, and. In the picture of something, our, our linkable images, our linkable images with time, you come here and you see an image, you're like, okay, you know, I like this, I like the rock and blue bands. I want to see more information about it. You click on that image, it takes you to a specific place in our web page. And that specific place could be like past events, future events, so anything that will come up, so say your band's going to come in, we're going to throw a picture of that band up there. Why don't you put in the music in a video? Because we're young, we're young developers, so. Oh, come on. With time. You can cut and paste it in there. It, 
it won't look as good. A lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot of stuff. It takes time to have it, you know, aesthetically. Trying to help you. <laughs> Thank you. For, but uh, we, we will, we will, as we move on, we will improve on that. All right. Um, the room, room, room. Yes. Um, so, past the fact of just not being um, online and we create a website. So the question is, what is the risk of hosting Charlie's Pub? And the biggest risk of hosting Charlie's Pub is the cost of web hosting. The cost of web hosting is $85 a year. Now, um, I put it, I put it up. So, um, I came up with these simple numbers. So, the cheapest thing at Charlie's Pub is a game of pool. A game of pool is 50 cents. So, if we had 170 people come into Charlie's Pub during the full course of a year just to play a cheap game of pool for 50 cents, we would cover the whole hosting. That's, that's the, if, not including them buying uh, a dinner, buying a drink, or anything like that. So, with the most basic minimum of 50 cents a game for 170 people, we will, c we will cover the host. Now, the biggest problem with something like a, a bar, a restaurant, or a pub is you can't really count and see how many people come from where. But the ability and the statistics that show that 85% um, of people search online to find local businesses strongly suggest that having a web presence increases revenue. And even though, yes, I said, 50 cents, um, it will increase by 50 cents. I, I can pretty much, um, I can't guarantee, but I can foretell that with time, as it gets more relevant, people are gonna come in more and more often because of what they see, what they heard, or if they like the experience online. Guarantee spelled I believe so, because I Google searched how I spelled it. Really uh, good English. Um, Sam, Sam was right there with me when he watched it. Watch me do it. But I'm Ryan Gilda. Well, Google search it yourself. So, what product is your biggest profit margin? Oh, well, our liquor is five to one, but everything's pretty much priced at uh, so you want to increase seven to one or nine to one. Or would you rather, if you had your choice, would you rather sell more food or more alcohol? Well, actually, you want to sell something I want to sell a product. balance of it, but uh, generally speaking, within the food industry, most people that have been in business for a while will tell you cost uh, or after taxes profit five percent on food, but that's why you need the liquor to to make your profit. You know, Don Kitchen just passed on this like on the schooner and several places in the industry about forty percent of and those are basically the numbers that he gave me, and my CPA would have said the same. So we use the liquor to augment, uh, to really keep us profitable, keep us floating. But I, and he says 50 cents each month because of the visualization and the things that I've seen, and also because we're changing the, uh, the, uh, the clients at this time, we're changing the direction that we're going. So this is an awareness issue for a lot of people within the market. That's why the visualization is so important for us right now, yeah. and this is great timing for this. So do you think with a website, your, your crowd, your your demographics of who's coming in will be younger? Because uh, of the website? No, because we have basically people from 21 to 70. But to be honest with you, I'm so aware that people get on their phones and they're they're texting their friends as they go, and everything is, is searched like uh, uh, said, searched on the internet for places to go. Even people that come in uh, that haven't been in here before, uh, say we found Joan on. Do you use Facebook? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So for some reason, uh, we have we have links to Facebook and Twitter. Okay. But this visualization is much better. Yeah. Well. So we have. We want to take advantage of all. That yeah. Way. So yeah. We, we everything's linkable from our page, but for some reason, Facebook uh, links are being a little bit stupid. Where instead of actually taking the actual page, it takes you to just Facebook, and then once you log in, then you can go fast forward. So that that's actually recently with actual Facebook thing. So we can It, it takes us to here instead of actually taking us to Charlie's pub thing. Yeah, you need to have it there. Right. No, we have a link in there. So if we. Why well, does it go to? Because. You don't need to sign in. You do. Um, for you the new. Make your profile public. 
for the new. Um, so if you type it in, it still takes you straight to Google, straight to Facebook. Something with with Facebook, what it does is it messes up. So you saw me type it in, Charlie's Pub. That's their link to Facebook. For some reason, the link on Facebook would because right now Facebook is going through their whole iterations of changing privacy settings uh, due to the, the NSA things. This doesn't want to work for some reason. So right now we're working on trying to find a workaround around Facebook's thing to actually get it to work to go to their page. So um, we do have incorporated Facebook, Twitter accounts into our web page at the very bottom, as well as the sign up. So if you want to receive a text message, you sign up right here, and uh, every week they usually send out text messages based on if they have specials going on, um, free cover at the door for ladies, or something like that. They'd click in here, sign up for their um, information, and it would send them you know, weekly information about uh, Charles. So it kind of incorporates, because um, that's that's a, a standalone texting system, it, we incorporate it into our website. Okay. Any questions? Yes. Guarantee little y is a noun, and little e is a verb. Uh, well. I, I, but, but you're right. Yes. It is surprising. It is a guarantee with the, it is an actual, but I don't know. Yeah, it is an actual word, but your, your version is a guarantee as in, I give you a guarantee as opposed to I guarantee, which is a verb. In your, in your context, you're using it as a verb, not a noun. Oh, then again, I fall back to the fact that I'm Russian. Yes. So yes. English is my second language. <laughs> no, yes. I have an education on this too. I've never seen a guarantee of a Bible before. Yeah. I've seen it in here. What ratio do these guys? I think that's at the top, uh, yeah, but I also like this communications. So this guy can sell you. Yeah. Well, sell anything. Well, I, I was expecting to use car sales. Sell but I, I'm partial because I really like it. <coughs> I like what he's doing. And anybody that makes breakfast for his mom once in the morning, I think that's right. <laughs> and oh, 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 we have a question. Who's happy? That's an A, right? Oh, yeah. oh. You bring the beer? Yeah, uh, the beer. We heard this we have You guys showed up, I would say. He's a He's a young, He said, no, me. He's right. He said, no, me. Don't argue with me. Yeah, yeah, that's true. This was your uh, your ace in the hole right there. Like that? Uh, Thanks. I've been waiting for those stickers oh, forever, oh, and they came in the mail today. Who's next? Cody. Right the Brandon. Last second, I was thinking. Bye bye. Oh, good. Oh,
If you guys want to take a break in between, I'm not going to stop for a break. You just come and go as you want. Who's got the video camera? David. David. Um, David. 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 Your video, everything? No, just some people wanted uh, to be recorded. I brought it for myself. Oh, okay. But uh, I said, okay. So you going to relive your glory? Is that the idea? Yeah, I'm just going to put on LinkedIn. Oh, LinkedIn? Yeah. This, right. is, what I, this you is how done. good I am kind of thing? Yeah. yeah. That's how good it's going to be. What if I rip you apart? Just lost. You're, you're going to well, stop, stop the recording. It goes on YouTube and it's going to end it off. <laughs> Another esteemed guest. My name is Brandon Evans, and this is my partner, Cody Swisher. Uh, we're here uh, to represent uh, Dubsoft Business Technology Solutions, all right, um, and to help Katya uh, increase or increase uh, their sales and their uh, public standing. Um, and that's done. All right. Overview. Again, the uh, objective here is to uh, increase Katya's public standing, their public image and increase their sales, uh, or their profits through sales. How do we plan on doing that? All right. uh, improve the system, better, uh, better streamline business processes, reduce errors in processes, and uh, increase productivity, better handling of uh, sales data, and uh, improve the quality, and uh, quality of the work and the uh, public image. All right, we have two systems that we'd like to show you today. First one is a more economical solution. It is the uh, traditional paper and filing system. It's just an improvement, BPI, business process improvement over the system that you presently use. Uh, the second system is a whole new, uh, it's basically a, a complete revamp of your entire system, uh, which includes a, a streamlined computer and database architecture. Which is really cool. It's a BPI. It's a process improvement. What's, is that the, what level is that? Oh, it's medium or high? I'm sorry. Level of change. Oh. Not oh. BPH. Oh, the middle, sorry. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm just getting a confusion. <laughs> Which, well, how's it go? Automation, improvement? Automation, re improvement, re-engineering. Yes, you guys still remember that. I'm, I'm well, you're teaching it. I know, but you're supposed to remember it. <laughs> you, you're, you're passing my class, right? Right. I okay. am indeed. I am indeed. All right. So, anyways, the uh, first thing is just basic, uh, basic revamp of your current processes and uh, your paper and filing system. Again, uh, like I said before, the uh, other one, solution two, is a uh, complete revamp, which includes a computer information system. Uh, for solution one, I'll turn it over to my partner. Cody Swisher, who is uh, yeah, who is the lead on this uh, solution? All right, so for we devised solution one, which is the paper filing system, because it was a very cost efficient way to uh, uh, rework the system. Idea came to us and said that they were kind of nervous about change and even more. 
more nervous about price points, so we decided to make a cheap alternative, even though we might not uh, recommend it as much as the computer automation. Uh, the point of the system is to produce better records by copying and filing documentation, which IT didn't previously do. Uh, that includes author materials, such as manuscript submissions, uh, efficient typesetter, and prices, like, oh, I'm sorry, efficient typesetters, so the typesetter documentation of Kytea will have from previous typesetters who were good and standing in good standing with them. And the same for retail outlet sales, so the retail outlets who sold a bunch of books. Uh, we have a main workflow of the processes here, so the author would submit the manuscript, Kytea would then take that manuscript, copy it using an easy rock printer, and distribute it to all eight members of the collective. The collective would then give feedback on the copies and determine whether or not by the guidelines if it was if it should be approved or denied, and what needs resubmitted, and the contract agreed. After the contracts have been determined, then Kathy will check the physical ledger of their ISBN numbers to, because there was a big loss in previous years to publications having the same ISBN numbers and having to go back and reprint. This will save Kathy thousands of dollars per year. Uh, retail outlets with high sale volume are then contacted before publication ends to try and get pre orders on publication, thus increasing more sales by getting pre order numbers. And uh, all copies of forms and reports will be file filed in the filing system by author name and ISBN. And all checks will be produced by the collective head for all publication cost sales and contract agreements that have been produced in the uh, Solution one cost is pretty bare bones. It comes with a PC workstation with all of the necessary software for scanning and printing. Uh, Xerox machine, filing cabinets, printer, and cost of analysis is total to be about 30 cents. Do you have a breakdown by each one in the documentation? Which is the big uh, the Xerox? Xerox Actually, <laughs> analysis is the Xerox. <coughs> Which is the Xerox machine? The Xerox is about 50. Why don't you run the Xerox? Analysis was about 18 to 15. 15 and 18. $32,000 is. Ah. All right. <laughs> so, the, how will you benefit? Uh, it's extremely cost efficient, meaning that we were giving a budget of 150000 So, for this solution, it's using about a quarter of that budget. Uh, the paper alternative is current. Is, uh, very similar to the ASIS system, so there's not much change there for employees and um, lower it says that members won't have to undergo rigorous training because they're already familiar with the process. This will also produce better records and documentation, so better public relations and image, hopefully attract new authors and uh, bring old authors back. And implementation will be simultaneous and quick, so it could happen overnight or over a couple of nights. All that you need is to set up the hard drive and see if that works. Okay. Unfortunately, it's not a perfect world, so there's many risks, and they're pretty high priority risks to be wary of. Um, one of them is that you have a large paper trail, so it's a lot to keep track of, file, go back, and find. All operations are done manually and extremely tedious, meaning manuscripts that are sent in have to be read by each and every member of the collective and proofread for uh, currencies and anything that needs to be changed. And uh, it's still highly prone to human error and hardly any net revenue. When do I make my money back? We'll get there. No, you tell me right now. Okay. Uh, about a year and a half to two years. Sorry, Wes. All right. All right. Uh, solution two is the uh, database system. It uh, consists of a uh, Windows server. It sits on a, a small business network. The Windows server will be running uh, Windows Server 2008 uh, R2 uh, along with uh, virtual off-the-shelf publishing management software called Acumen Book. Um, the uh, software uh, that will be on the server uh, will do a myriad of different tasks, automating all your processes and uh, managing the uh, whole publishing uh, team. The, so, 
Here's a quick breakdown of uh, what each part of the uh, network will do. All right. Uh, as I said, you have Windows Server, and then uh, connecting uh, the whole thing, small business network with eight workstations and a multifunction office printer. Um, each one of those will have access to the server and the uh, software that's on that server. Um, this includes a uh, file uh, file server and the Acumen software. Um, each one of those machines will be equipped in order to be able to scan and save all that documentation to include any documents that need backing up in every manuscript as it comes in. All that will be saved to the uh, file server. And then, of course, it comes with your basic Microsoft Office uh, so you can increase your office or uh, productivity uh, through different programs like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Excel, um, Microsoft Outlook to manage your emails and so on and so forth. Um, and then also, uh, one of the big things is the Kitea Publishing website. Okay, um, to this point, Katia has not had a uh, website. It's time that she met the internet and uh, <laughs> and uh, broke her uh, broke into the uh, modern age. All right, this website this website will be uh, public facing. It'll uh, give the public as a at large uh, information about Katia to get your name out there, get people talking about you, and then the authors will have a breakdown of exactly what it is and how what it's like to publish with Katia. And then also there will be a uh, an addition uh, an additional plugin for the uh, retailers, so they can go on there and uh, check your current stock and inventories. Um, this is a quick look at everything that's included with the Acumen Book software. Um, you get a quick breakdown here um, as Acumen Book actually puts it on their website. And then if you want to look more into it, there is a uh, web link underneath. All right. Uh, the accounts payable. Oh, what I'll do now is I'll show you uh, some of the. Okay. All right. Great. All right. The cost. Um, this is the breakdown as it is. Now, the reason I show you this uh, by piece is that I'd like to take a look at, or like you take a look at the fact that if you want, like this 128,000 down here. Uh, can be reduced by one. You can reduce the number of workstations you have. Right now, we have four laptops and four um, desktop workstations. Okay, that gives you uh, gives a certain amount of your people mobility for when they go out to the different uh, uh, book fairs and stuff like that, so they can hook back into the system using a collective um, uh, machine. Um, also, uh, this includes on-site and off-site backup. The on-site backup will take place with a uh, tape drive that will basically archive, uh, do incremental backups daily, and then a whole backup or a uh, complete backup every Friday. Um, you'll have the uh, small business network that's running off of Cisco hardware, uh, which is super bomb-proof and stable um, and super secure. Um, this, and then, of course, down here you have your different services. Um, same printer, that is the actual price of it right there. Um, and then your web page, this is for web design, your inventory customization, and five years of hosting, and um, yeah. you the 5,000, yeah. 1,000 bucks a year, 100 bucks a month, a little less. Is this you? This is me? This is your price? Yes. Okay. Yes. This is our uh, proprietary uh, web development team right there. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, you have your data entry that you're going to need during your conversion because you're going to be going from a paper system to an electronic system. All your records need to be converted. All right, this is going to take four of our in-house local here in Washington uh, data entry agents one month to convert all of your uh, data from paper to the electronic system. Okay. All right. Uh, the benefits, of course, you know, the electronic records make it easy, put everything at the fingertips of the user, and uh, give you uh, a way of distributing all your manuscripts and stuff to the different members of the collective for review. Uh, collective, uh, much higher level, level of credibility, okay? Uh, for your public facing parts like the internet, or <laughs> for your website, um, of course, you'll have that, and of course, like with the um, sort of records keeping, you'll be able to maintain and have at the call of your fingertips. Um, that'll help establish you, um, establish your credibility. That way, if there are any further allegations of you guys losing manuscripts or anything of that nature, um, 
you'll be able to have somebody, a third party, come in, review your processes, see that basically, like, because of the way you do things, it's pretty much impossible for you to lost somebody's manuscript uh, as you may have done before. <laughs> All right. Um, also, for job performance, uh, as far as like your different type centers and stuff like that, um, you'll be able to rate them within the system. That way you know who's good, either A, who's cheap, but takes longer, who's fast, but is more expensive, or somebody in between, depending on the deadlines that you have to make for your publishing objectives. Uh, yeah, disaster recovery, both on-site and off-site backups. Fire comes in, wipes you out now. What happens? You've lost everything, right? Fire comes in and wipes you up in a new system, Insurance claim, replace the equipment, data comes right back from its remote storage site, boom, you're up and running, and probably, uh, well, about the same amount of time that it takes to set it up this time. Um, ISBN, ISBN assignments, since everything's tracked within the database, like any new books that you make ISBN requests for, uh, there's the uh, issue where two books actually had the exact same ISBN, two different books, which of course is bad juju, right? Um, and this costs Kaiji had thousands and thousands of dollars and lost revenue because they had to recall all books and um, you know reprint and redistribute. Um, this will make sure that that never happens again. And then uh, we estimate you'll uh, triple your production within four years. That's with effective marketing, of course. Um, uh, yeah. When do I make my money? My hundred twenty thousand dollars back. Uh, you will make your hundred twenty thousand dollars back within the first thirty months. Thirty months. And that's with that's with an increased revenue. Of, you said two and a half years for option one, right? Yes. That's the yeah year and a half two. Yes. That's fifty thousand dollars, right? And you're saying thirty months to make back one hundred twenty-eight thousand. Yes. But option one is no growth. In the first four years. The you way I calculated it. <laughs> Does it cost twice as much? One and a half times as much? I'm sorry. Your numbers don't make sense. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, okay. The uh, option one isn't going to give you the same amount of uh, pro productivity right. uh, ability. It's, it's as very slow and gradual versus I'm looking like this or the other one, right? Right. And the only thing that's going to limit you and the profits you're going to make within those first four years is not going to be your people, it's going to be your marketing. So as long as you can market Kaitia as a publishing company, the quicker you can market it, the better you can market it, the stronger you can make it in the, in the, in the uh, field, um, the quicker you'll make that back. Now I estimate this um, with effective marketing, 50% the first year, 100% after the second year, third year is another 100%, and um, yeah. Then halfway into that, you made your money back. Um, and this includes the uh, operational overhead of the system. Um, that's been accounted for in the numbers. Um, operational overhead uh, comes in at right about 15K a year. Um, and that includes all of your annual subscriptions for backups and things of that nature. All right, solution two, risks and cons. Uh, okay. Bottom line, that's what you were looking at, or looking for before. All right. So. Which one do you recommend? I personally recommend the second one, of course. Because? Um, the second one gives you a much more efficient system. Um, with the on-site and off-site backups, you'll never uh, have to worry about the uh, loss of data sure. and, yeah, and data in case of disaster, disaster recovery. Disaster recovery. Right. Uh, with the system managing all of your uh, processes, like, you know, keeping everything, like forms, or excuse me, reports, at the uh, at the click of a button, um, instead of having to go file, dig through the file cabinets, find this, find that, merge the three or four or five forms that you've got, uh, it's all brought up in a report uh, for you. Um, so, the time saved, the effective marketing, the targeted marketing, and the value you get out of that, um, I definitely recommend solution two. Okay. Good. Any questions? I noticed that you are using Windows Server 2008. Is there a later version that you can go to? Um, this is proven to be bomb-proof uh, with the Acumen Book software as opposed to, <laughs> I like that word, 
the rock climbing word. Anyways, uh, with the uh, Acumen Book software, uh, Server 2012, uh, to our knowledge, has not been tested with Acumen Book. We can do those tests, but of course, that's more time and more money for you. So, um, and so, what's that? Yes, could be. We do not know until we test it. So, as far as we know, it hasn't been tested with 2012. Have you considered using Linux according to a Linux based system? I have, I have, uh, but it's where it's compatible with Mac. They haven't done any tests with any other kind of uh, um, Linux based stuff. So, yeah. All right, good job. Oh, I mean, I like it. Hello, my name is Scott. Uh, my name is Mion. And we are the Cyber Studs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so today we're going to talk about Ubiquitous Lashes and uh, what that has to do with, with our project. Objectives. Here are the categories we're going to be talking about today. Um, background, who's our client, um, problem, um, current situation, purpose, why we chose to do this, situ um, solution, how to address um, uh, the problem, system, what we implemented. So Yuka's Lashes is a beauty salon where women can go to get their nails and their hair hooked up. She specializes in uh, eyelash extensions. And eyelash extensions is uh, basically the process to extend your eyelashes. Um, and they, they do this by gluing a synthetic mink lash onto each individual lash of the person to create a, a fuller set of eyelashes. And uh, some, some women seem, seem to like it. So. So our current system right now consists basically of word of mouth. Uh, she relies on her existing clientele to uh, promote her business, promote her services. Problem. Basically, the problem is is outdated. So most of the basically the, like so there's no system that is in place. It's just word of mouth. <coughs> oh, your advertising. Yeah. So basically. It relies on other people for a primary source for uh, promotion. Um, how can someone learn about this? Since there's no system, um, you have to actually go to the physical location to learn the eyelash extension process. And uh, can a client can review, uh, read the regular reviews? As of right now, no. Uh, uh, presenting her work through the client uh, to view, uh, view the reviews. Sadly, it's just a word of mouth. 
So no pictures or videos to be. So the purpose of our project is basically to extend her, extend her reach. Right now, she relies on her clients to promote her, her business. Uh, our system is going to expand her to get her on the web and uh, allow people to learn about her business. In specific, uh, our system is going to address. Uh, it's going to allow people to, to look at before and after pictures, uh, re reviews, um, look at actual video of the extension process, which uh, is pretty helpful because a lot of people. Don't really understand what eyelash extensions are. Just to explain. It's going to help the uh, growth of the uh, help the growth of her uh, clients of our clients' business, basically by reaching out to the uh, internet um, and allowing more people to learn about it. The annual cost is just going to be uh, seven dollars a month. Comes out to about eighty-nine dollars a year for the server fee, which covers the security and all that. Um, the, the bullet? Well, yeah, it was one of the annual costs, so $7. Is uh, that going to be a question mark? Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, it's $7 a month, and uh, she, she'll, she'll make the money back by one eyelash extension, which is $100. It's going to increase revenue by. <laughs> Wait, excuse me, how, how much do you make on, on one eyelash extension? Uh, it, it, that means like non lashes. Okay, how much does that cost? $100. And how much? Fill is it every three weeks? How much do you make on one? One day? Yeah, one, one, $100. From one customer. Yeah. And what's your profit? I'm curious. Like, oh. Um, top secret trade secret thing? Yeah. Well, how, many, how much do you spend on supplies? You get your supplies from Japan, right? How much, how much does that cost? <laughs> it, must, it must be astronomical. All right. All right. For solution, this is the home page, the index page. That's uh, Scott's eye right there. You got it done. Like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, on the top, there's basically uh, there's a navigation so you can navigate yourself for consumers who is like new to the site. And there's a uh, slideshow, like I said, on top. On the right side is a sidebar. This is a quick links. And a little bit of fact on the, the, the center part, and three columns on the bottom, which is tells you about review, the dangers, and uh, I think that's the, the procedures. On, this. on the right side here, you can show you different styles of the eyelash that the consumer can get. Are you going to show us the actual oh, um, I, I can. Yeah, you showed it to me before. Let's, go ahead, can you go through it? Yeah. I think it's pretty good. What you guys showed me. Put all this work on this, on this website, you don't even show it. What's up? That would be faster just by the time. Oh, no. So, so this is kind of cool. It kind of shows the, uh, the, some of the pictures. I was impressed with it. Yeah, it looks good. Um, and so how, did you do, how did you do this? Did you use a template? or? Well, we kind of, I found a bunch of different stuff. So you, kind of, you kind of cut and pasted and made up your own. Yeah. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I, I, these, these pictures right here. I mean, I this looks like a professional something you would yeah, pay. I, yeah, I edited all these pictures in uh, Photoshop, and uh, I think you did a good job. That's what I was impressed when you did this. This is not what I expect a typical student to be able to do. <laughs> Thank you. Um, and if you look at this, this looks like a real yeah, commercial type of website. You would pay a lot of money to do. Yes, would you Would you pay to do this for you? <laughs> 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 You'll be all there's, 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 <laughs> there's still a lot of work to be. There's still a lot of work to This looks pretty good. I mean, I'm impressed with what you're. Yeah, so, this, so this section right here, um, it's, it's still it's still under construction. You can read reviews. This, this client right here is a CrossFit coach, so it kind of answers some of the questions people have or the concerns people have with getting eyelash extensions and whether or not they can work out. And this lady right here is a CrossFit <coughs> coach. Um, she she pretty hardcore when she works out and she doesn't have any problems. This this section, in the middle right here, uh, kind of answers the question that some some of our friends had about the concern about. Eyelash extensions and, and what could happen if, uh, if you get it from an untrained technician. <laughs> and this right here, this section shows the procedure. Okay. So people can see what, what's up. Uh, I like your website. Yeah, so. And then the you know, portfolio is kind of cool. Show different pictures. This is before and after. I, I still got to upload a video. I was video just amazed at all these little iterations. You know, these different animations you could get. 
and let's see, the, and she also has a contact page. Okay. So the, this is kind of the bread and butter of the, the system because you know, it, it, it allows people to get on and, and, and uh, actually watch what she does in real time. So let me go ahead and uh, start this. We, we designed this in uh, the UW uh, media, multimedia. I used our lab. Yeah. They made this from scratch. Yeah. Yeah, we, we just, they took this took us the longest part of the project, the video. And we rented all this equipment at the, the video lab as well. Free. Free. Yeah. <laughs> what did Because a lot of one of the big problems she has is explaining to people what eyelash extensions are. Um, words don't do it any justice. You actually have to watch the video. You have to put it one at a time. Yeah, Each it's one. a pretty tedious process. It takes about two hours to get it done. Having eyelash, 
slash extensions over just using my falsies. <laughs> the, the falsies are ugly. That's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> they're, 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 they're tacky. They're tacky. Um, they, I mean, this you can't you can't tell that the 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 eyelash extension process doing it this way. It looks like your natural eyelashes. Um, you don't have to wear mascara. It makes a thicker lash. Um, the other ones you wear for a day. Just if they they look like stripper lashes. They look, they're tacky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Is it um, metal? Or is it glue that? How, how does this? So it's it's yeah it's a, it's a special glue basically, and super glue. Yeah. So in, in the, yeah, another another concern people have about allergies. So she tests all the glue on people. It does a screening before to, to make sure they don't, they're not going to have an allergic reaction. Yeah. I have another question. So is it one time wear? For example, if I took a shower, will it come off? So one of the pages kind of explains that, how to care for the eyelash extensions. Um, Within the first 48 hours, there's certain things you don't want to do. You don't want to sweat too much. You don't want to get them too wet because you want the glue to kind of set in place. But once they're in, they're in. Just like that, the review page, the lady, she's a CrossFit coach. Um, she works out twice a day, every day. Doesn't have any problems with them coming out. And you, the, the eyelashes, are, they're, they're going to come out naturally anyway, just like your hair falls out. And so you come in every two weeks to get them filled up. And that's basically uh, that's how it works. Whereas the, the, the strips that you're talking about, they not only do they look tacky, but you know, after a day, well, they, they might look off. okay, but then they can come off easily. Yeah, yeah. So these will be on. Yeah, this, this doesn't the look kids. like these look like your rear eyelashes. Yeah. But you can't tell that it's it's a fake. For for especially, I don't want to sound uh, too judgmental, but so, so like Asians, for example, have usually have shorter eyelashes, and it's it's real popular in Asia, right? In Korea, and Japan, because they have shorter eyelashes, and now they can get a longer look. Um, so that's 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 why they get it done. She's pretty busy with clients, so it's. Pretty popular thing. What grade does your husband do? <laughs> All right, thank you. Thanks. Oh man, he's about to die. objectives, our services, and revenue, as well as security measurements for our client, Mr. Bear, back there. Oh, Hi. welcome. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for coming. So what is Body by Bear? Well, it's a fitness program, but it's not like any fitness program. It's literally 12 weeks of high intensity training that will transform you and change your life forever. All right, this training consists of Tabata, which is a high intensity interval training, circuit training, strength training, endurance training, all to the type of physical training to give you the results that you want. All right, this program started out in January of 2013 with two members, in which one member lost 45 pounds in 12 weeks, which I'll show you later. Right now, Mr. Bears for Business is operating with a small client base about four members, but we want to do something different about that. We want to get more customers, 
We want to promote his program. We want to make him money. So the program. The program's objective is about promoting a healthy lifestyle for the community, for those that, are, that want it. Right. His vision, though, is to provide the highest quality of fitness, physical training, not just at the gym, but at your house. He's willing to go that far for you. Our mission, eyes and mind, we need to develop a system, an online system, that will allow us to help him connect with potential customers, as well as to increase his revenue, and again, to promote that program with his Body by Bear. Okay. okay, talking about our mission, uh, first of all, I would like to talk about a testimonial. In order to prove Mr. Bear's fitness program is work, we put real life story, before after picture, and some videos on our website. Second, this website is a personal website, so that uh, it has lots of uh, information about Mr. Bear, and also it has a uh, session that lets customer contact Mr. Beer or ask question or enroll to his program. And uh, the third one is the social network. Nowadays, um, people tend to use social network to connect to each other. So we put out links like Facebook, YouTube, to help the customers share their story or share our website with their friends or family. Okay, talking about revenue. First, I would like to talk about the pricing. The general pricing is one regular lesson session is about $40. Our package A is five sessions, and it is uh, discount price is at $180. Package B is contain 10 sessions, and its pricing is $350. Package C is 20 session, and it offers the breakers account a discount. It costs $650. Bootcamp is a little bit special. Uh, it has 36 sessions and it is scheduled for three months. So the pricing is 520 here and it actually costs about $173 per month. Okay, in our example scenario, we hoped our website could bring more customer to Mr. Beer. And uh, for example, two people purchases 12, uh, 12 sessions and then three people uh, purchases package fee discount with 30 sessions, and then six people enrolled to the bootcamp program. In this month, Mr. Bear is going to make about $5,150. Okay, our security measure. Um, the risk is, uh, for our analyze, the risk comes from three areas. One, the, our web page may have problems, and these problems me and Derek is take the responsibility to fix it. Here's our email address. Second one is about the admin issue. Maybe some member login problem uh, or access problem. Mr. Bear gained the full admin control on the website, so Mr. Bear will be the one that contact with. And here is Mr. Bear um, email address. Finally, if there's any problem deal with server. The best is go to their technical team because uh, the company provides the server services. And here is the technical support link. All right, here's our product that we uh, created for Mr. Bear. This website is a simple layout, but it kind of gives you a visualization of what he has to offer. Notice on the top, you have the social networks such as Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And yes, they do work. Are connected, so you can connect with him and uh, get you know information about his workouts and schedule it. Also, uh, here you can see success stories as well as eating the right food, getting the right diets, get to achieve the goals that you want in this program. Also, notice we have a special offer going on in January for early signups, fifteen percent off. I suggest you sign up after class. <laughs> All right, in the About Me, we have information about Mr. Bear's background, where he came from, his specialties, as well as his credentials with the National Personal Training Institute. Okay, so here, you get all that information as well as a message to you as a personal trainer and as a boost camp trainer, such as information to programs that can help you in reaching your goals. All 
All right, the training section. Here, Mr. Bear offers two programs, two options. Option A, train at your house. He will come to your house at no additional cost and he will train you, give you the best workout for one hour. All right, option B, you train him, you train at his gym. He has a gym that you can come to, get the same type of service. All right, things that uh, specializes in as well as uh, weight loss, fat burning, personal group training, if that's what you prefer, you like to work out in this group, and at boot camp training, you're all about the 12 week high intensity to get the best results fast, <laughs> that's for you. Oh yeah, for the, for the picture section, uh, we kind of kept it uh, protected, only member, ac member access only. So you, need to, you would need to register and sign up, and then you would get privileged for that. We'd like to keep that kind of private, as requested by Mr. Bear. Okay, on the Mountain Media page, if you want to do a test drive or if you want to do a little bit more after a session, Mr. Bear posts all the training exercise radio on it here, and you can take a look with it. We have uh, abnormal exercise, stretching exercise, all kind of stuff. Okay, on our frequently asked question webpage, you can find the pricing on general session, discount package. And you can find out some general question like, what can Mr. Fear offer and what, will, what can he do for you? And can you scroll down a bit? Yes, I can. Thank you. Here, we have a common session. And you can post that questions at here. And those questions will link to Facebook fan page. So other customer and Mr. Bear can answer your question through Facebook. David Kahn, ITS customer technical representative. Oh, that's my last position. Oh, that's not what you are. Oh. <laughs> okay, on the con and on the content page, we have a Google map, and here is a landmark, and it is where the location that Mr. Beer has his gym. And then, if you prefer to ask a question privately, you can ask it here. It will only go to Mr. Beer's email address. It is correct. All right. And lastly, testimonials. Here you can find the success stories of his program. Anyone who went through his program and are listed here basically. In this case, we have uh, this individual who I uh, showcase, Christine Thatch, who lost 45 pounds in 12 weeks under this program. That is significant, right? Now, if that's not convincing enough, it's okay. I understand. You're all about the visual, and so, so am I. So, so don't take my word for it. See for yourself. Eyes. All right. Let me help out with this. Bear. 